Ah, the sweet, sinful sight and smell of authentic French pastry. Abandon all hopes of sticking to your diets because we're going traveling. This is the stage before, and this is the baby stage where it's just the dough waiting to rise. They rise early in Englewood, New Jersey, and at Patisserie Florentine, they make plenty of dough. My name is Tomer Zilka. I'm from Israel. I'm a pastry chef. Uh, actually, maybe a restaurateur at this point. How are you today? I'm good. I'm always good to be here. Patisserie is, is a full dining experience, but you will find probably one of the best, if not the best, brunch in Bergen County, uh, according to reviewers, not my words. The crazy house is right here. Welcome to Patisserie Florentine's kitchen. We got the hotline here. Uh, my sous chef is over there, Johan, right now. And we have a couple of ovens here from New Zealand which have a steam, in, steam injection and a bi-directional fan that helps my, the pastries um, be flaky, especially the croissants. And you can see those beautiful croissants that were baked. We bake them every hour. We're known for the almond croissant and generally the viennoiserie, which is Viennoise uh, pastries. Friday, Saturday and Sunday, we do a very light brunch service. Throughout the week, weekdays, it's more of a lunch crowd. 12 to 2 would be the busiest time. In the morning, we have more of the baked goods and uh, coffee that we sell to go. So we have a roaster in South Jersey. We use a blend that mainly comes from South America, but we also maintain the latte art and the production of making uh, making coffee. Let me think about it. Yes, everything is fresh here. <laughs> It's either the grinder or the mixer. Or the <laughs> yeah, it's fine, it's funny. I was 24, just finished my military service in Israel, and I traveled in South America for seven months. I arrived here in 2004, and I didn't really know what I wanted to study. My wife I met six months after I arrived, and we've been 10 years together now. We have a 14-month-old baby. That's Tomer's wife Amy and their son Tristan. But let's backtrack a bit. Tomer was bartending, trying to decide on a career, when a friend said, What do you like doing? And I, I said, Well, I just like baking with my grandma. I, I like that. Tomer took a dishwashing job at Veselka, a restaurant in the East Village. He observed the pastry chefs and worked his way up to apprentice baker. When he got serious about becoming a pastry chef himself, he enrolled at BMCC. Daisy, by the way, is also going to borrow of Manhattan Community College. Because of who? Because of Tomer. Tomer continued his education at City Tech and earned a Bachelor of Technology degree in Hospitality Management. This is something I wanted to show you. This is my City Tech shirt. It's, it used to be white. That's from the competition at the Jacob Javits Center. And I still wear it until today. Thomas professors took note of his talent. I ended up in France through City Tech, which I'm so grateful for. My professors kind of pushed me to, to do that. It was a great experience in Alsace, which is on the border of Germany and Switzerland. I learned a lot uh, and became later on a, a pastry chef, but it was a great experience. A great restaurant. <laughs> Thank you. Patisserie Florentine is so popular, Tomer can't accommodate all the customers. We try to alleviate that pressure that we have by opening another store, which is two doors down. That's right, it's poached. Super fast superfoods for people in a hurry. Tomer says it attracts a corporate clientele. There used to be a coffee shop there when we were still open here and then they left. So we saw it as an opportunity to create a, a quick to-go place. And with two businesses and a wife, son, and home in Englewood, New Jersey, Tomer still finds time to teach at Bergen Community College. I'm an adjunct professor there at the moment. I'm teaching two classes, uh, baking, uh, introduction to baking. Uh, and I can say that I'm taking a lot of my experience from uh, from City Tech because I remember so much the great professors and the structure of the class 
and I am able to share that and I always like sharing knowledge. It's definitely fulfilling, gratifying and fulfilling. Barry Mitchell, study with the best.